she solves everything. I thought it would be a good idea to film this video on the floor of my living room, particularly because you can't see anything, <laughs> I realise. See, I'm a big fan of the black on black aesthetic. I will eventually do a house tour, I swear. I will, okay? I will. I've been kind of putting it off until I feel that my apartment is finished, but I don't know if it's ever really going to be finished and I certainly can't like I don't have the money to do what I want to do with it and I don't foresee that happening anytime soon so I'll do like a tour of as it is but to give you an idea this room is very dark it's got a chandelier with 12 lights in it it's got a sort of standing chandelier type thing with another four or five lights in it but regardless of that it's super dark like everything in here is black except the floor I can't change the color of the floor anyway that's not what you're here for you're here for a quadruple shoe unboxing you know considering that like three or four years ago I had like one pair of boots that I just wore until they fell apart. I would buy one pair of cheap boots and wear them until the soles were just holes. To go from that to having so many pairs of ridiculous shoes is quite a strange sort of contrast and I am a big fan of that. Shit, we're opening four boxes of shoes today. This, is, this giant box has come from AMI Clubwear. I used to buy all my Demonia shoes from eBay from someone called Orange Clubwear. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called, Orange Clubwear. Hey Thanatos. You want to be in the video too, do you? Yeah! Probably can't see him either. He's black. Black on black aesthetic. <laughs> he just disappears. That was Orange Clubwear, so this is called AMI Clubwear. It's a massive website and when I really had a look at it, I saw that they had the probably the biggest range of pleaser shoes I have ever seen. Demonia and Phantasma are both kind of under the umbrella of pleaser shoes. A lot of the cool goth shoes and fantasy sh looking shoes that you see around are by pleaser under the label of Demonia or Phantasma. Pleaser are the more kind of kinky looking ones. <laughs> so like I am my club where there were just pages and pages and pages of like epic stripper heels. <laughs> so if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for stripper heels, Look no further! I don't know if you can see but this great big heavy box here is covered in tape from the Zoll armed from the customs office. Every single time I get shoes from overseas they always end up at the customs office and it always ends up in me having to pay a colossal amount of customs which was no different in this instance. And uh, also I hate going there, it's very very bleak, it's very depressing, it's like a grey block. I'm talking so now the birds are talking okay so like I hate that place I hate that place so much I had to open up the parcel and I was trying not to look because I didn't want to spoil the surprise for myself and uh, so I just thought what we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna have to cleanse the bad juju from the box before I open it up so if you're not familiar with this it's a uh, smudging stick I'm just gonna <laughs> Cleanse the- that's alright baby, don't worry. Cleanse the customs office juju away from this box. <laughs> now that we've done that, now that we've cleaned the negative bleak customs office vibes out of this box that I had to cart all the way back, we're gonna open it up and have a look at its contents. Yes! I enjoy the shoes. I will, I will enjoy them. I am a big fan of like weird shoes, maybe you've noticed. I think most of the shoes I have are things that people, most people would consider a little bit stupid or impractical. Oh my god, four boxes. This is nuts! I am really fucking happy. So thank you very much AMI Clubwear. I will of course link to all of these below individually. And if you are in the market for stripper heels, do go have a look. Just go to the search and type in pleaser and you will not be disappointed. First pair. Oh yeah! Oh, so shiny! Oh my god! Oh my god! Now they didn't have all the new styles of Demonia shoes listed on their website, but they did have so many that I've like had on my wish list for ages. Oh, smells, smells so new. Smells like new PVC. Yeah. Well, these are the real thing. Okay, let's have a look. So these are some of the newer camel ones. Oh, they're a thing of wonder. They're so beautiful. They're so chunky. After I've opened everything up, I'll try everything on and we'll have a look and see how they fit and what they look like. I'm pretty good at buying shoes off the internet, like getting the right size and stuff. Okay, that does appear to be my size. Like, there are international shoe size charts you can refer to if you are not sure, because they are different sizes in every country. So first pair, the PVC camels. 
Oh, these are gonna get so much use. Oh. Awesome. Oh. Okay. What are these ones? This is basically Christmas. This is Christmas for me. Thank you for joining in the experience. <sighs> I've wanted these for eons. These are charades, I think. I've wanted this pair of shoes for literally years. Literally years. There are quite a few different styles of these charade shoes, but I've always liked these ones, all these crazy laces on. Let's have a closer look. Oh yes, laced up the back. They stuff the front with a little buckle. God, I can't wait to try this on. I really hope they suit me. You look at them and you expect them to be heavy, but they're, they're really not. They weigh like hardly anything. Oh, 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 awesome. There you go. There you go, beautiful. I feel spoiled. I really do. And um, I, I don't know, there's something I always feel a little bit uncomfortable about. They're like haul videos and stuff because I don't want to feel like I'm showing off. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to share the excitement. Oh, good. Here's a little pair. I think these are flats. As much as I do love big, chunky, ridiculous shoes, uh, I have started to think that maybe flats are a good idea. Especially now that I have Mr. Owl back because he's only a couple of inches taller than me. And I, if I'm wearing these giant shoes around him, like, well, I'm, I know a lot of, I know it doesn't really matter and most people don't give a fuck, but I don't really want to be taller than him and I don't think he really wants me to be taller than him. So yeah, I think flat shoes are a good thing to have for that. And, I think these are some that have also been on my wish list for a long time. I really hope they're comfortable. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god. Are these Daisy? I think that might be the name of the style. See, they're like cute little flat Mary Janes with skull buckles. I really hope they're comfortable. The other pair of Demonia flat shoes I have are fairly comfortable. Well, so far. Oh my god, these look so great. And they're pretty flat. It's really like tiny little skinny sole. Man, I, you know, I wish I'd had this sort of thing while I was at school because to me these look like school shoes. Although, like, before I changed schools and went to the more free, relaxed school, there is no way I would have been allowed to wear shoes like this to school. They were unbelievably strict there, and people often don't believe me when I tell them just how strict it was, but it was. You had to experience it to believe it. Last pair, and it is the biggest box. Ugh, yeah. It's so big, it's so full of promise. Get out too, I guess. Motherfucker, these are red. Holy shit. Fuck, I can't wait to put these on. Look at that. Look at the size of that platform. Teenage me is so happy right now. Got straps up the front, spikes on it, and like a little o-ring at the top and it zips up so you don't actually have to go through all that bullshit to get the things on and off so beautiful oh they're so cool ah uh, ah uh, they're so cool okay get the other one out save it a moment If you go to AMI Clubwear, like I will list these things individually below. But if you do, like, so, like I said, just if you type in please it, you'll be able to search through pages and pages and pages of different awesome shoes. Okay, these ones are damned. That's the name of the style. Damned. There we go. Velvet spiked O-ring platform boots. That's fucking cool. These are so fucking cool. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm going to try them. The first pair of the PVC camels, they've got laces but they actually zip up at the back. These feel really secure, you know, they feel, I feel safe <laughs> in these shoes. And they're actually surprisingly comfortable and easy to walk in because if you see, they're big and tall but they're not actually steep, like the heel isn't much higher than the platform. These are actually pretty grippy, they have like a real solid grip on the ground. They look really cool, I fucking love these, I think I'm going to be wearing them quite a bit. I was right to want these shoes for years. They're so adorable. They're also a lot easier to walk in than they look like they should be. They're smooth on the bottom, and though obviously I haven't tried yet, they kind of feel like they'd be good for, you know, walking around town like all day. Like, I don't really foresee my feet getting sore in these, if that makes any sense. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna wear these heaps. Like, I feel like they'd be quite good for taking on trips, actually. 
they're not uncomfortable but I kind of sense that blisters are on the horizon after wearing these for a bit and I must say while these buckles are awesome looking they were super difficult to do up like they took ages to do them up properly but I think they look okay I'll definitely wear them but it's not very comfortable potentially blistery and the buckles were super frustrating to get done up properly so these were a bit loose so I'm just adjusting them by tightening the buckles I think they look really sweet and they're so flat. I'm used to wearing platforms with heels, but these are totally flat. They actually feel a bit like wearing slippers because they're so soft. Honestly, these are so soft, it's kind of like wearing platform Ugg boots. I think I'd rather wear these than Ugg boots, to be honest. The zip makes them super easy to get on and off, and yeah, they really are just like wearing platform Ugg boots. I like these a lot, I think they're really cute. I'm so happy that there are platform boots in Zalbert. Thank you very much for joining me here on my living room floor. I hope you've been able to actually see things with my black hair against my black background. Like I said, we'll do an apartment tour sooner rather than later. Do let me know in the comments if... And uh, joining me and Thanatos. I wish you could see him, seriously. He's just racing around. He put a, he sort of tw puts his tail into this kind of C shape and often just it puffs up and he just runs around like he's scaring himself. I don't know, it's, it's hilarious. I really wish you could see it. <laughs> anyway, do let me know in the comments which of these you liked the best and would these be the kind of thing you would wear or do you know someone who would? The big chunky shiny ones, the saucy ones with all the laces, the little cute spooky flat ones, or the big fuck off velvet spiky ones. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Anatol. So thank you very much for watching and thank you very, very much to AMI Clubwear. This is awesome and I am happier than I feel like I am allowed to be. Anatos also says thanks for hanging out. If you have not already done so, please hit the button below and subscribe to my lovely spooky channel, Thanatos wants you to. Thanatos says he would be happy if you did. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, good boy.